Hey, how are you guys? This is Mighty Good LDR with a quick video tutorial. So, um, I don't just edit Fortnite videos. I help my wife edit Clash of Kings videos as well, and she has her own YouTube account. So, we recently ran into a problem. I run into it only once. Um, it's with Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, there's an audio issue that a lot of people are having where the audio is out of sync with their video. So I'm going to let you guys listen to a quick probably 15 second snippet to see what I'm talking about and then I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. Um, if you do use Adobe Premiere Pro I guarantee you you're going to have this issue event eventually just like we did. So hold on just a second. Give it just a moment. I had to buffer. All right. So let's go to this chart. All right. This um, chart was put out um, by Clash of Kings um, team, um, team. Now, as you can hear in her video, she is actually at a chart. Now, if you scroll over here, you can see that she doesn't actually get into the chart until almost a whole 30 seconds later into the video. So there's a small problem and I, I'm going to explain to you what the problem is and then I'm going to explain to you how to fix it. So these videos right here that you see were both recorded on her phone. Um, she has a Galaxy phone. It turns out any of the files that are recorded from screen capture devices that are MP4, MPV, um, there's a list of quite a few of them. Whenever your phone screen records, it records in what's called variable frame rate. So both of these videos were recorded on the same phone. Um, approximately, literally one after the other, she started the video. We're going to go over to the details of the video. And here you can see that this one is at 11 frames per second. And this one over here is at 17 frames per second. So the problem that she's having is her video was actually recorded at 25 frames per second. So the audio is at 11 frames per second and 17 frames per second is what it's running at. Or it's at a different sampling from what I understood. Um, if you download this nifty program online, it is called Handbrake. You can download this. Um, I will include links below where you can get it from my Google Drive because it's a little bit harder to find the 32-bit version if there are any of you guys on 32-bit. First, you need to know what your screen recording application is recording in. Um, most things are recording in 30 frames per second. Uh, she set hers to 25 just because you know, the, the higher the frame rate, the more demanding it is for resources on your device. Um, so I know that it's supposed to be at 25. Now normally peak frame rate is selected. We want to select constant frame rate and then select the frame rate that we know the device is recording at. And then you're literally going to browse, pick your save location and hit start encode. That's it. So now I'm, I've already encoded this to save a lot of time. Um, we are going to open up videos. This is the first one, offensive one. And the details where we originally saw that it's 11 frames per second. And then we're going to open up our re-encoded re folder where I've done this before already. And you can see that it's at 25 frames per second. Um, I do see here, you can see both videos are 4 minutes and 35 seconds. The frame width, everything. Um, you can compare the settings. Now the only thing is, is that the bit rate's a little different. So to show you guys that I'm not trying to pull a fast one on you and showing you two different videos... Hi, Clash of Kings. It's Katita Mala from Kingdom 2. Now I'm going to open up the other one. Hi, Clash of Kings. It's Katita Mala. So this is literally the same video. It's just been re-encoded. Um, you will see. Let's go ahead and open, open up Adobe Premiere Pro. We're now going to erase this video. And we're going to kick this out. A lot of people online say that you need to clear out your cache and things like that. That is not true at all. You want to throw this in here real quick. Give it just a sec to buffer the file. And then we're going to throw this down here. 
we always want to change sequence settings so it matches the video file, the width and the height. And then I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this over to about 30 seconds. And you can see she was speaking about a chart in the previous video. And we didn't see the, uh, the video for the chart. So chart. All right. This um, chart was put out. There you go. Um, by so that fixes your audio setting. Now, if you are still having an issue with your audio being out of sync, there is one more setting. It's on CS6's version. If you're using Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud, um, you won't have this setting. We're going to click Preferences and say General. Now we're going to go over to Audio Hardware. And you should have a button in here that says ASIO settings. You want to click on this, and then your buffer setting default will be at 2048. It's going to be way down here. Just move this all the way up. You're going to hit OK, and you're going to hit OK, and it's literally going to fix your problem. Um, if you did, this did solve your problem, please like and subscribe to my channel. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, make sure you turn notifications on. Um, hope this helped you guys because it really helped me.